if you want to migrate to sweden with work permit for example you got a work permit and you want to come into sweden i think that's even the most easiest way hey guys you're welcome to my youtube channel today if you are new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming my name is bossinola faith and um i reside in sweden and i do content on living in sweden on academics family you know and you know sometimes lifestyle vlog yes and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much please if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please do subscribe so today i'm going to be discussing on how much it's going to take you or how much you will, it will cost you to relocate to sweden as a student and as somebody who got a job in sweden so before uh, without further ado let's jump right into the video yes first of all i would love to put it out there that to relocate to sweden when you're when you're submitting for your um, proof of funds, I have to tell you that you need to use your personal account. The Swedish embassy does not take um, sponsor. It does not take sponsor's account, or it has to be your personal account, or maybe your spouse. You know, both of you, your spouse, one of you, like married couples, one of you can actually submit bank statement. So it has to be in your name. They don't take for your parents anybody they don't take just you or your spouse yeah so how much will it cost you to relocate to sweden as a student first as a student for you to relocate to sweden when you are submitting your proof of funds you do not need to have your tuition fee with the proof of funds however when you are applying for your resident permit to move to sweden one of the requirements for you to apply is to have paid your first instrument tax tuition fee so it depends i think the lowest i've seen on tuition fee is forty thousand sec in sweden we don't use euros we use swedish krona so it's and it's kind of equivalent to let's say one euro is equivalent to like approximately 10 swedish krona yeah so the minimum tuition fee that i've seen for one semester is 40,000 Swedish krona. So you are expected to have paid that tuition fee before you apply for your resident permit. Now, how much do you, will you, will you show, or will you show the consular, uh, how much should be in your account for you to be able to be eligible for the Swedish, uh, Swedish resident permit? Yeah, and I have to put out there, in Sweden, they don't use student visa. Once you are going, once you are coming to Sweden for studies, you know, it's, it's either you get like one year, you, you are coming for one year masters or two year masters, or even if it's bachelor, they don't give visa, they give resident permits. It's a card, just like normal resident permit card. Now, so when you are, when you want to do your proof of funds, you, um, there's what we call the maintenance fee. So what you are going to be showing for the embassy or what is going to be in your, just your account is your um is the sorry maintenance fee like maintenance fee means like the expense your living expenses per month and this is how it is calculated now for you as a student who is the main applicant your monthly living expenses is nine thousand four fifty swedish krona as a student your monthly living expenses is 9,450 Swedish krona per month. Now, that 9,450 krona per month, you multiply that by 13. If you are coming for two year masters, you multiply that by 13 months because the resident, the resident permit they are going to be giving you is going to last for 13 months. However, there are some schools that are undergoing pilot programs that pilot program you know pilot programs is is like your testing just like a test bed they are testing a principle they are testing they are testing a policy yeah so there are some schools that are undergoing that police pilot programs now those schools you are you are going to get like two years resident permit at stretch like you it won't be like those schools that are not under pilot programs 
so for schools that are, that are under pilot program so you are going to multiply 9450 multiplied by 24 months which is like two years because throughout your your um your stay in sweden like your master's program and if you're in pilot school and your master's is just one year so all you have to do is 9450 multiplied by 12 months or possibly to be on the server side you could do 13 months as well but most times they give one year masters i think 10 months or 11 months yeah that's for you as the main applicant i hope you understand now if you have dependents if you have dependent because once you are applying as a student in sweden you you are allowed to apply for your dependents as well so all your application goes as one you have to mention them that you have like that you have a dependent now to calculate for your dependent let's say for your spouse so per spouse the amount is um three thousand six hundred and twenty two point five zero swedish krona so approximately three hundred and six hundred sorry three thousand six hundred and twenty three Swedish corner pass for your spouse as an you know adult your spouse now so you have to multiply that three thousand six hundred and twenty three points sorry you have to multiply three thousand six hundred and twenty three multiplied by thirteen months or for those that are in pilot program school multiplied by twenty four months you understand I hope you understand so that is a part you, you for um that is a part now if you have kids that are coming like for your children if you have like let's say you have two kids coming so per child the living expenses per month per child is 2173.50 so it's approximately 2174 swedish krona per child if you are doing like uh if you're doing like maybe you're you're doing one year resident permit so multiply by 13 months and if it's pilot program multiply by 24 months but sometimes it's advisable if you're in pilot program school if you don't want a two-year resident permit as stretch you can as well apply for just 13 months to avoid too much of expenses you know too much of um, to avoid you know higher higher um, to avoid you having too many amounts you know if you cannot afford that so you can as well apply for 13 months now let's take a scenario for example let's say i'm a family of four i my husband and my two children so how much do i need to prove as my my living expenses no so let's do the calculations i have 9450 as for me multiply let's for example let's say i'm applying for 13 months so 9450 multiplied by 13 that gives me 122,850 swedish krona for me in for 13 months that's for the main applicant 122,850 now let's do the math so for me as a main applicant i have 122,850 swedish krona in addition with my two children that's 56,524 Swedish Krona and for my spouse that's like 47,999 Swedish Krona so in addition we have like 226,473 Swedish Krona hmm. so now I think so for a family of four you need approximately you can see I did the calculation now is 226,473 Swedish Krona. So let's say approximately 230,000 Swedish Krona for family of four. Now, so it's up to you to now calculate it in your local um, local um, currency. For example, in Nigeria, I think the exchange rate for today is 70 Naira. So multiply by 70 what like one check is equivalent to 70 naira so multiply by 70 i have 15 million 853 thousand so approximately 16 million for 
family of four so if you are coming to sweden as out of today and you have like family of four with 16 million you can migrate easily to sweden the 16 million as your proof of funds excluding tuition fee and your 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 ticket like your flight ticket now there's this thing that is going on this year because in, the, in nigeria this is for nigeria audience in nigeria recently like the exchange rate was kind of um I, I i don't know how to say but you know it's not like free like i don't know they remove something okay yeah the exchange is no longer regulated by the cdn so it's just free like that so because of that there's been a lot of fluctuations in the exchange rate so i think the embassy as well are aware of this so they calculate your proof of funds in relation to the exchange rate as at when they are viewing your application so don't be surprised when they call you before interview to um, to load more on your account or to put more amount in your account they are basically calculating your proof of fund based on the exchange rate as at when they are viewing your uh, your application just to put that out and just to put that out there and another thing i want to mention is if you want to migrate to sweden with work permit for example you got a work permit that you want to come into sweden i think that's even the most easiest way you get a job and you want to migrate it's so easy right now if you get a job that pays you um, for now it's not it's still on discussion they are probably considering 33 000 sec if your if your pay is 33 000 swedish krona per month then you can migrate but right now it's 33,000 is still like it's still for now we add this 26,500 some said 26,550 but according to them 26,550 if i'm right now if you get a job that pays you 26,550 before tax then you can migrate but then now this is the tricky thing we don't know if that 26,550 is dependent inclusive or is dependent exclusive that is still unclear until october this year by october we will know the way exactly because we just know that by october the minimum like the minimum requirement for work permit will be from 26,550 but then we don't know if it's going to be dependent inclusive or dependent exclusive so in case your dependent is exclusive then you have to use the same calculation that i've used for you if you have children you do the same calculation as well to calculate the funds for your children same goes for people with scholarship for example swedish institute scholarship that has dependent your scholarship does not cover for your dependent therefore you have to do the calculation as well you do the calculations and then there you go thank you so much please subscribe like leave comments and you can ask me any question that is not clear to you yes my name is still in and i will see you in the next one Bye.